I want to talk to you about something that affects every single one of us control the need to have you know everything in order you know to have it all the answers you know to make sure nothing falls apart it's quite exhausting right maybe you've been holding on to things in your life so tightly your future your relationships you know your work you know maybe you're trying to carry the weight of it all and you want everything to be perfect but you're just left extremely extremely feeling overwhelmed anxious and constantly on the edge if that sounds like you i want you to know that you know peace comes when we let go and trust you know in the one who holds it all together so that's what we're going to be talking about in today's video is that we're going to you know talk about finding peace by surrendering control and embracing god's guidance number one we're going to be talking about the illusion of control let's start by acknowledging something that's difficult but freeing control is ultimately an illusion no matter how hard we try we just can't control everything we can't control the future we can't control other people and quite honestly we can't even fully control our own lives jesus says in the first matthew 6 27 can any of you by worrying add a single hour to your life and the answer is no worry stress and the constant need for the control don't change the outcome they only steal our peace in the present moment so why do we cling to control i personally think you know for many of us it's probably a fear we're afraid that if we don't you know have our hands on everything you know things will start to fall apart but here's the truth when we let go we make room for god to step in and when god is in control we don't have to fear the future because he's already there his plans for us are so so very good uh, another first uh, in jemiah 29 11, it says for i know the plans i have for you declares the lord plans to prosper you and not to harm you plans to give you hope and a future number two what i want to talk about is surrendering to god's will I know that word surrender, you know, can sound kind of scary. It feels like giving up control, you know, means giving up everything we care about. But surrendering isn't about losing. It's about gaining peace, purpose, and clarity. When we surrender our will to God, we are trusting that he knows what is best for us, even when we don't truly understand it in the present moment. It's not about passively sitting back and doing nothing. It's more about, you know, the activity of trusting God with every part of our lives. In Proverbs 3 to 5, 6, the first says, Trust in the Lord of all of your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him and he will make your path straight. Maybe you're in a situation right now where you're trying to figure everything out, whether it's a relationship, your job, or maybe a personal challenge. You are doing everything you can, but nothing seems to be working out. And I really want to start to encourage you to take a step back and just give it all to God. Pray, surrender, and just trust that he's working behind the scenes in ways you and I, whoever, can just not possibly see right now. The next and third thing I want to talk about is letting go of the burden. Carrying that weight of control can be excruciating heavy, obviously. You know, it's like walking, you know, around with a, you know, a, a boulder on your back. And every time, you know, something doesn't go the way you are hopefully planning to, that weight just gets heavier and heavier and heavier. But Jesus invites us to lay that burden down down in matthew 1st 11 to 28 to 30 it says come to me all of you who are wavery and burdened and i will give you rest 
take my yoke upon you and lean from me for i am gentle and humble in heart and you will find rest for your soul for my yoke is easy and my burden is light there's just so much freedom in realizing that you don't have to do it all on your own god never intended for you to carry that weight of the world on your shoulders you know he's asking you to come to him to release you know your burdens and just to find rest in his presence this might mean ultimately letting go of you know a particular outcome that you've been you know desperately trying to control it could maybe mean releasing your grip on a situation that you've been holding on to for so very long whatever it is know that when you hand it over to god you're placing it into the hands of someone who loves you more than you can possibly ever imagine the fourth thing i want to talk about is embracing god's control when you you let go you make space to embrace god's control and that's where real peace begins in isaiah the first 26 to 3 it says you will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you god control doesn't mean everything will always go the way you expect it to be you know sometimes life you know will throw curveballs at us and the world ahead you know can be very uncertain but when we trust in god's control we can have peace even in the middle of the chaos because we know that no matter what happens god is still good and he is still in control of it all think about the story of jesus you know calming the storm in mark 4 the disciples were terrified because they couldn't control the winds and waves but jesus stood up spooked the storm and immediately everything was calm that's you know what happens when we allow God to take control of our storms he brings peace in ways we could never achieve on our own the fifth and final topic I want to talk about is living in daily surrender finding peace by letting go isn't just a one-time thing it's a daily choice every day we're faced with situations where we you know want to control it all uh where we want things to go our way uh, but peace ultimately comes when we make it a habit to surrender our plans our fears and our desires to god it's about waking up each day and saying oh lord i trust you know with you of all of my life uh, i trust you with my future i trust you with the things i can't control etc etc when we live in that space it doesn't mean that life will be without challenges now but it does mean that we will have a steady anchor in the middle of the storm before wrapping up this video i want to give you my final thoughts the peace beyond understanding so friend, if you're tired of carrying the burden of control, if you're, you know, longing for peace, I want to encourage you that to let go and embrace the control that comes above. God is not distant or indifferent. He is actively involved in every detail in your life, and he wants to give you peace that surpasses all understanding. Let go of the things that are weighing you down. Release your grip on what you can't control, and trust that in God's plans are greater than anything you could possibly imagine. In Philippians 1st 4 to 6 to 7, it says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, situation my prayer and pension with thanksgiving present your request to god and the peace of god which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in christ jesus you are simply just not meant to carry life's burdens on your own surrender them to god and uh, let his peace just flood over your heart thank you so much and god bless you for taking a few moments out of your day to check out this video i pray that this message hopefully spoke to you today and you know feel free to let me know in the comments if it did give it a like subscribe and if you want to continue the conversation definitely do it in the comments whether it's feedback input advice or any suggestions you would love for me to talk about in a future video i'm adam representing team sos in case i don't see you on the next one make sure you have yourself a good morning afternoon evening and most importantly good night love you all stay safe be safe i'm signing off peace